All right, my brothers and beauties. Mark here, Jackal Outdoors. And yes, I'm out for another wild camp. It's going to be my first uh, ever winter wild camp, so it's uh, it's pretty cold. Uh, had a look in the car on the way up, and uh, it's uh, two degrees C at the moment, and uh, I'm supposed to get tonight to about zero to maybe minus one, minus two. So um, I've brought, uh, yeah, I've brought my uh, Nature Hike Cloud Peak two tent because obviously I've tested it in strong winds up to 60 mile an hour and it uh, and it caught really 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 well and obviously in uh, I've had it out in the pouring rain and again it's uh, it's caught it's been superb but we'll see how warm it is because uh, it's uh, actually advertised when I bought it as a four season tent so now we're in the fourth season shall we say um, I'm going to give it a go, see how uh, how it copes, and uh, I'll give you my honest opinion as usual on whether I think it's a true four season ten. Anyway, I've got a few other bits with me as well, a few other new bits, <laughs> namely me uh, me app, bit festive, eh? <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm a little bit knackered. I'm not far off where I where I want to camp, but I'll uh, I'll show you uh, where I am. So turn you around. I'm quite high, well, I'll say I'm quite high up. I'm, I'm high up, I'm probably about, I don't know, 250, 300 metres up. Anyway, there's some woods to my left here, as hopefully you can see. And uh, obviously, uh, Ambledon Hill in the background. And uh, just over the brow there is a, it's like a ruins of some maybe old farmhouse or something. So I'm going to have a look over there. So, uh, so yeah, so. I'll get over there and see where I want to camp tonight. I've got about an hour-ish before uh, before it goes it goes dark before the sun goes down. So I'll uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. There's the old <coughs> ruins of of something, some kind of building. Uh, so I don't know whether to pitch around there tonight <coughs> or into the woods at the back of it. Uh, so I don't know. I can't my mind up yet. Right, let's have a look at this place here. Uh, well, it's definitely a ruin. Probably a farm of some sort. Steps here, this probably was door, main door. But, oh, there's no camping in here. Certainly not get me turned in here. Definitely not. <sighs> Everything else is bricked up. Let's have a sneaky peek. firewood in there though when it's dry. Oh, okay, it looks like it's gonna be the woods for me tonight. All right as you can see I'm in the woods. Just in the start of it and you can see hopefully the river. Just a little uh, brook stroke stream going down to the middle of these woods. I didn't bring my water filter today, so I could have done, could I? I'll know for next time. Save a bit of weight. Anyway, I'm going to find somewhere in here tonight to pitch my tent and sleep. Not been in this woods before. Oh, look at this, Holly. Very festive. So I can get through here. I'm scratching my eye out. All right. Oh. Yeah, really wet. Good job winds aren't high tonight. There's quite a few trees that are uh, that have come down. So I probably wouldn't camp out in these woods in high winds by the looks of it. Especially around here. There's a lot of roots exposed. 
But it's a lovely woods. Really nice. Right, need somewhere to pitch my tent. Ah. Ah. That look good? No. Oh. Uh, I'm knackered, a bit warm, even though it's cold. And uh, I found myself a bitch, I've just uh, cleared it away a bit. Hopefully you can see that. Nice and flat. And, uh, and yeah, just on the edge of the woods. So I uh, should get a bit of sunshine in the morning. That'll be cool. And apparently, I've just been talking to a couple of locals, um, you should get uh, a lot of wild animals in here, including deer, so... So hopefully, I'll get lucky in the morning, eh? Anyway, I'm just going to push the tent up and then uh, unpack. I'll speak to you in a bit. So, all set up. Uh, ready for the night. Still a bit of light back, light left. It's now 25 to 4, so it's probably only about half an hour left of light. But you'll see, my sleep system in there is... Uh, me uh trichology mat underneath that is um like a thermo uh mat and then i've got my um uh, oex fathom 300 sleeping bag uh i think it's rated down to about comfort zone about two degrees but i've got some little special things with me tonight to keep me warm so so that's cool so yeah i was saying if you look uh if you look at the tent it's advertised as a four season tent but if you look at the bottom there there's big gaps obviously and uh, that is not a true four season tent I mean don't get me wrong it's a brilliant tent for uh, withstanding 60 mile an hour winds and, and torrential rain like I have done already in it and, and it, it was superb but don't believe it's a true four season tent also inside you can probably see there's quite a bit of uh, netting. Uh, I mean, the, the solid walls go up quite, quite away, but there is, it's half and half netting. You wouldn't have that in a true four season tent. Um, you'd have a little bit of netting maybe, but mainly it'll be solid, um, solid material on the inner tent um, for extra warmth. So it's, um, anyway, I'm gonna give it a go tonight, see how I go in it and see how warm I am. If I freeze, I freeze. End of story. <laughs> but there you go. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, brought some beers with me. So I'm gonna have a beer. So I'll set you up uh, in a minute, and uh, yeah, we'll continue. Oh. <coughs> oh. So here we are again. <laughs> uh, in some woods that I've never been in before and uh, yeah they look pretty superb actually really really nice and I'm in a nice little spot here um, plenty of twigs and stuff and wood around if I wanted to set a little little fire I've got a stove tonight um, whether I'll try it or not I don't know um, I've got alcohol little alcohol stove so I don't know like I said I don't know whether I'll try it or not um, I've got a couple of new things so I'll go through those with you later on. But for the time being, um, I've got a new food with me. And um, nearly forgot, must do the usual, even though it's now winter. Deep wipes. Don't want to get me jizz and all that shite, do I? So, uh, Give me usual. My arms and my hands. They tend to what suffers most like. And uh, my face. Not bothered about my legs, I've got my long johns on tonight. So that'll do. So I'll put that in there for my rubbish in the morning. Anyway, tonight. Yeah. The purpose of tonight, obviously, is it's my first ever winter camp. So, 
I want to test, you know, the gear I've got um, to see if it's uh, up to uh, up to the purpose, really. Um, if it's not, then I'll obviously have to <laughs> reinvest in some warm stuff. But I've got, I'll be, I'll be all right. I won't, that won't be a problem. I've got my long johns on underneath. I've got uh, thermal. Uh, I've got extra claws with me as well. Um, so, so it should be all right. Um, Christmas hat. And uh, yeah, a few beers as usual. So anyway, oh, we're all set up now. And I'm opening the first beer uh, before it gets dark. This is uh, it's called Juicy, and it's an IPA, and it's from Seven Brothers. Don't you can see that. Uh, I don't know whether I've had one of these before. I might have done a while ago. Smells fruity. What percent is this? I have no idea. Hey! Look at that, how organised am I? I? Need these, I'm getting old. Put them on right. Still can't see. Where is it? <laughs> Let me just drink first. Anyway, I think it's about six, around six, six and a half, seven. Oh, but it tastes lovely. That is really nice. Oh, should have been a bigger can, really, shouldn't it? Mmm. Mmm. Really nice. And I've got three of my very, very favourites, which are uh, by Northern Monk, and it's uh, Northern Star. Uh, like I said before, it's like a, a hint of chocolate and caramel uh, IPA, so really, really good, really good. Anyway, uh, the lights come off. Why's that come off? Oh. Let's have a look. I don't know whether I charge this. This could be a bit of a, a disaster. Oh well. Ah, let me see if I can get that not working. But it's still a bit light. It should still be off soon. Hmm. Luckily, I brought my uh, power bank as I usually do. So that's good. So anyway, yeah, with the tent. Um, I love it. Absolutely love it, especially for the price. I think it cost me about hundred and. 140 or 50 pound delivered from from China because obviously nature hike is made over there anyway um, so I got it direct and like I say it stood up to 60 mile an hour winds torrential rain absolutely no problem at all but the advertiser does a four season tent I don't think it is for the reasons I've just mentioned um, there's a couple of niggly things that I don't like they tie backs they're not bungee they're just material and they come a bit loose um, so that that is a little little bit annoying. Um, I've got a footprint with it, but the footprint only covers this; it doesn't cover the, the vestibule area. So that you know that uh, that would be nice to have a full footprint with both the vestibules. But as far as the tent's concerned, it's very light. I think it's around about just over two uh, two kgs, two kilograms, uh, two kilos, sorry, and. Um, it's very very roomy sit up in it no problem so so yeah really good really comfortable but we'll just see how warm it is tonight so yeah i'm gonna uh, have a few beers and uh, when it gets a bit darker i'll get some tea on i'll bring you back and, uh, and yeah we'll have a chat right okay it's starting to get a bit dark now and uh, uh yeah I've been a knobhead again. But, I, you know, my excuse is my age. I'm 54 now. And <laughs> I always forget something. I forget to do something. Ah, oh, it's a nightmare. So, my uh, tent torch, my tent lamp, um, I forgot to charge from last trip. So it's flat. 
<laughs> so at the moment I'm charging it up from my uh, my battery you know my battery pack thing um, so yeah <laughs> I'm a knobhead but anyway listen um, I want to thank you all you uh, lovely friends of mine now my subscribers um, I'm not going to call you subscribers because I don't think that's right you got, I think what you're going to be now is uh, uh, part of the Jackal Pack. So it's Jackal Outdoors. You're part of the Jackal Pack. So uh, so that's what you are. And there's about 200, just over 200 of you now. So um, I really, really appreciate uh, you subscribing and uh, watching my videos and commenting. That is, uh, it's brilliant. And uh, obviously it helps my channel. It's, it's really, really good. And uh, <laughs> I never thought I'd... Like I said before, I never thought I'd get to 50 people watching me, but yeah, 200 is really, really good. And I've, like I say, I've only been, uh, I think I've got about eight or nine videos uploaded. Uh, obviously at work, so I can't do it all the time. I'd love to be able to do this um, as a full-time uh, hobby and uh, not work, but hey oh, wouldn't we all like that to, uh, to do our hobby um, as our life choice? That would be, that would be uh, amazing. But unfortunately, I still got to pay the bills. And uh, the thing is, with YouTube, you've got to get to a thousand subscribers. You've got to have four thousand hours of your channel watched, and a few other caveats, I think. So, so it'd be tough to get there. But what I'm going to do is, uh, obviously, you'll see by my thumbnail that uh, I'm doing a giveaway. And you've seen my. I've got three tents now, and. This one I really, really love, this nature hike. I love the, the Nevis because it's stealthy. And I love my Jackal 2. And the, because the Jackal 2 was the first one I got from OEX. Now I've used that three times, it's immaculate condition. And um, and it's a fantastic tent. I would say that's nearly a four season tent. Um, so you could probably camp out in that all year round um, and still be nice and warm, lovely vegetable to it. It's uh, well made, it's stood up to wind and rain and everything. So yeah, it's a good spec. I paid about, I think around about £100 for it. So what I'm gonna do is a special giveaway um, to all my jackal pack, shall we say. Um, I'm gonna give that tent away. But I'm gonna give it away once I reach a thousand subscribers. I think that's only fair. So, if you're new to the channel, please obviously subscribe hit that bell and obviously hit the uh, all notifications so that you get a notification on my next video you don't get any spam shite or anything like that and it's free it don't cost you anything um, but obviously it helps me out and uh, I absolutely love doing this and um, it, uh, it's really really helped me with my mental health I suffered as you probably know in a few of the previous videos uh, especially my first videos that's the reason I started doing this, to to help my mental health get out there in nature and, and go back to basics and I absolutely love it. It's definitely improved um, my health and my life. So, um, so yeah, a massive thank you to you 200 uh, plus uh, of the Jackal Pack. <laughs> so yeah, you remember the Jackal Pack now, you're nothing you can do about it. So anyway, I'm going to finish my beer and uh, like I say it's getting dark now I'm not sure how, how long my lamp will take to uh, 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 to charge but it's uh, it's not going well it's a bit slow so I could be in the dark for a bit tonight but anyway I'll sort some of it out I've got a couple of lights with me I think, so I'll rig something up and I might actually I've got a stove I've got the Trangia stove like an alcohol burner but I've also got a little wood stove I bought as well so I'm going to hopefully show you that tonight as well um, uh, when I do my food, so uh, have a little, you know, controlled fire in the woods, shall we say? Um, I'd never do an open fire or anything because that's not what I'm about. But a little, you know, stove, I think that's that's okay. Um, so, so yeah, so uh, I'm going to finish my beer and I'll speak to you in a bit. All right. Right. I bought this. Cracky all sorts of stuff. Right, it is, I don't even see it, may be able to see me, 
I'll get over here. It's a stove. So, I think I'll have to put it together. There you go, comes like that. Lick seed up. And I think what you do, and before you do that, you put your tray in. Like that. For your wood. And that is in case I want to do me. I don't know whether I'm going to get this right or not. Right, so that goes in there like that. As you can see, I'm pretty useless at this. Oh, I've got it, I think. Right. I think that's about right. That goes down. There. Like that. Hey, hey! So we're getting a little wood stuff. I think that's right. Oh, I haven't done it right. I'm gone into the slots. Let's just see if I can get it there this time. Yeah, sorted. So there we have it. Little stove, little wood stove. So that's going to go there. And what we're going to do is. there I think and I have no clue where that goes. Ah hold on hold on hold on hold on that goes like that that slots on like that for me pot there then Got a bit of kindling, and I've got some wood ready to go. It's a bit, I don't know whether it'll, the light's a bit damp, a bit green, but we'll see. It's really a twig stove, but we'll give it a go. See if it lights. Let's get some, see if I can get some drier stuff. Oh. To get it going. Right. We'll give it a go anyway. We'll see if it works. We're just done with kindling then. Right, so I'm gonna use my present off the missus, and it is plasma burner. Right. Get that bit of patience. Bit of patience. Now let's get these twigs in. Let's see if they burn. burn. Oh, we're doing all right.
There's my little wood stove or twig stove. Going nicely. Don't need to boil my water up on that. I just use my standard gas canister. I've got that as well as backup, but this is keeping me nice and warm outside the tent. Awesome. I can do bushcraft. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, I've just had a successful little uh, stove fire, which was the wood burner. Brilliant. Really, really good. It's a Lixida. Uh, as usual, I'll put the links uh, to that product uh, in the description. And, um, yeah, I loved it. Kept me nice and warm for a, an hour or two. And uh, it just sticks. It just twigs and sticks. Just brilliant. Really good. So I've no doubt that that will heat up uh, water at some stage when I use it next. I was just testing it tonight just to see uh, if I could do it really. And uh, thumbs up, I can. I'm a bushcraft man now. <laughs> right, okay. So, the old reliable is now going on um, for me tea. And uh, tonight, smell, I'm trying a new one actually. Uh, not that I'm fed up with uh, the, the, the other ones I've had. You know, the adventure food stuff, that's good. Uh, not keen on the fire pot, there's only one I was, the rest were absolute garbage so I'll not be going fire pot, down the fire pot route for food again. So what I'm going to do, it's different this time, it's kind of boil in the bag type of thing so it's a uh, wafer and it's, tonight's tea is spicy, spicy uh, sausage and pasta by wafer. So, so yeah, all you do with that is just put water in and then fold this up a little bit, bang it in there and uh, to the boil, open it up and eat it I believe, so so yeah I'm going to do that. So I'll get a bit of water in there and see what, see what the score is eh? I don't know why I put this thing in, I never get it out. Do you know something? You know when you have one of them days where everything doesn't quite go as planned? I think I'm having one of them. Mind you, it's my old fault. Didn't charge up everything before this camp. Hopefully that'll do. And that's enough for a brew in the morning. Won't need anything else. I've got a couple of beers anyway. So that's cool. <clears throat> Right, so what we do now is we stick that in there like that, I think. I don't know whether you put the the lid on. Yeah, I'll put the lid on anyway. And then we'll fire it up. Something wrong there. That is not firing up for some reason. It's not leaking, is it? Might have, got, have to go back to the wood burner to have my food tonight. Well, that ain't working, is it? Dear me. I don't know what's going on there. It is cold, so I believe these canisters can get a bit temperamental with the gas. The gas is coming out. So, should be alright. Yeah. It's definitely on. Not firing up for some reason. Nope, that ain't firing up. So that's the first time that the OEX 
has let me down. Whether it's the cold, like I say, whether it's the cold weather or not, I don't know. Should fire it up though, shouldn't it? Should fire it up. Maybe it is the cold weather. Normally it fires up first time. So it's just one of them days, isn't it? It's, everything's not going right. But you know what? It's still fantastic being out in nature. Whether it goes right or it goes wrong. It doesn't matter. I'll be all right. I'll figure, I'll figure something out, don't you worry. Anyway, tonight I'm not gonna get cold in my sleeping bag. Um, it's rated down to about zero, I think, but it might get minuses tonight, I, I believe, anyway. Minus temperatures. But I've got uh, hot hands, and I'm gonna stick them uh, up to 10 hours, nice and warm. There's two there, I've got another two as backup, and I'm gonna open them before I go to bed and stick them in my sleeping bag. And they will keep me warm. I'm damn sure of it. So, I'll be back to you when I can get this fucking thing going. Excuse my language. Oh, right. On a little porch here. And I've got my Trangia stove and some fuel in it. So, as I was taught in the forces, you improvise. <laughs> so, Oh, Jesus Christ, I can't believe. That's stuck now. Crikey almighty. I'll not be beaten. I will not be beaten. Tonight. <laughs> right, I've got that off. I obviously... Did that a bit too tight. Okay, so what we do now is, oh, that's charged up a bit there. Get this lit if I can. <laughs> we're rocking and we're rolling. Stick that in my stove, like that. And then, we put that on top of there like that. Now then, might take a while. Listen, up here for thinking, down there for dancing. <laughs> I will not be beaten. <laughs> Alrighty, my food's boiled, I've managed it, I'm a genius, <laughs> using my uh, spirit burner, my trangier, um, with, combined with the wood stove, so uh, yeah, pretty cool, things can be achieved, even when they go wrong. Right, you can see me now because I've got the fire. <laughs> And this is boiling, piping. So, let's see how this tastes. Oh, it's nice, nice and hot, that. All right, we'll put that to one side over there. Oh, lovely. So, i just rip it open, I think, and then tuck in and see what it's like. All my rubbish is over there. Smells absolutely beautiful. Bag's a bit hot though. <laughs> right, let's see. It's any good. Oh god, look at that. That looks fab. Come on, stand up, look at that. Yeah, spicy sausage pasta.
Oh man, that's good. Oh, bloody hell. Oops, sorry. Mmm. That is amazing. Mmm. My new favourite meal, wayfarers. Can't let my hands. Got soot all over them from that tram gear. Mmm. Oh, that is fabulous. I'm going to wash that down with the beer. Let that flame die down a bit on the tram gear. I'm going to speak to you in a bit. Oh. Right, my buddies and beauties. I've had my tea and uh, it was fabulous. Really enjoyed that. Really tasty. In fact, I would go as far as to say it's the tastiest camping meal I've had so far. And it was, uh, I think I'll be having a lot more of them. Uh, the Wayfarers, gonna try all of them, whatever they have on offer. I shall be, uh, I shall be testing them, yeah. I mean, the first one I had of theirs was tonight and uh, it was spicy sausage um, with pasta. And of course, it's boiling the bag, so it's proper, proper spicy sausage and proper pasta so it was, it was great absolutely lovely the sauce was fantastic so really enjoyed that uh, obviously i washed that down with a couple of beers <laughs> as you'd expect from me um so yeah really good I'm, I'm nice and toasty now in my sleeping bag and on me my trichology mat oh, i'm get comfy which i am yeah um if the missus sees this, she'll kill me, because this is her bob up, by the way. <laughs> it's nice and warm. Um, so, yeah, as, uh, I'm, I'm at the moment quite comfortable. It's uh, one degrees, so it's not quite zero yet, but uh, I think it might get early hours at the morning. It might get to, like, zero or minus one, I believe. That's what it's telling me anyway, the weather app. So, um, so yeah, it's going to get cold. I mean, it's cold now. You can see my breath, I think. <coughs> Morning, all. Oh. Not a bad night's kip, to be fair, to say it were cold. Um, I believe it got to minus one in the night. Uh, which, yeah, is pretty damn cold um, I could feel my nose getting cold during the night I woke up a couple of times but the rest of my body were, were uh, toasty warm um, but the tent is not a four season tent so the Cloud Peak Nature Act Cloud Peak 2 advertises four season it isn't it's a cold tent but I don't know if you can see it I don't know whether it'll pick up on camera, but yeah, it is very cold in here. I mean, it's half net and half material, so solid material, so that's what you'd expect. So I don't know why they advertise that as a four season tent. It's definitely not. Uh, so I'd have to use my Van, uh, my Van Gogh Nevis, uh, maybe, because that's got a lot, lot less net and more solid material, so on the inner so that's what I'll do anyway I'm going to get up make a cellar brew and uh, yeah even though it started out <laughs> last night a little bit dramatic with things going wrong but listen we got there in the end and uh, that's what it's all about isn't it? nothing goes to plan <laughs> so so uh, yeah I'm going to put a brew on um, and I'll talk to you in a bit Right, boys and beauties, <coughs> I'm all packed up, ready to uh, ready to uh, end the journey of this particular solo wild camp. My first uh, woodland, well, it's my first winter wild camp, so it was a success. I enjoyed it, really enjoyed it, and um, it was great to get out in the open again after uh, not feeling well with the flu. 
uh, this last few weeks. So awesome. Uh, nothing, nothing does you better than getting in the great outdoors. That's what I say. I truly believe that now. So uh, so yeah, it's unbelievably. It's fresh this morning. Uh, really fresh. I need my gloves, my hat, and everything. So. Uh, so yeah, but it's all good. Uh, anyway, I left no trace, as you can see. I just took the camera now, and there is where I was. That's a pitch, and nothing. So I've left no trace. <laughs> anyway, reference the um, the giveaway. Obviously, once I reach uh, a thousand subscribers, I'll do a video um, to celebrate, and on that video, I will uh, be giving away. Um, well, I'll be choosing, you know, you, you comment on that video um, and subscribe and then obviously um, I'll pick a, a random winner uh, for my Jackal 2 tent, which hopefully will appear here. <laughs> if not, fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, if you like, thanks for watching the video. Uh, as usual, uh, to all my subscribers, thanks very much. It's uh, it's much appreciated. And um, anybody that's uh, new to the channel, that's watching the video, please please consider subscribing, hitting that bell, and uh, choosing all options. And um, and yeah, comment and like or dislike if you didn't like it, um, because it all helps me and my channel. So anyway. The famous words of, uh, well I don't know, I made it up, but it is, when out in nature, take only pictures, steal only time, leave no trace, nature will shine. So, ta for this one, and I'll see you on the next one, and behave yourselves. Take care, bye now.